And now it's time for food to go. And for this Aloha Tuesday, we're headed over to Wahiwa to check out a family-owned food spot that's been serving up authentic Jamaican cooking with excellent service in a casual Jamaican atmosphere. That's right, it's time to grind over at JR's Jamaican Jerk. And join us with all the Ono details is Shade Edwards, co-owner of J JR's Jamaican Jerk. And she joins us now live. Good morning, Shade. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's our, our pleasure. So tell me a little bit about the history of JR's. How did it all get started and uh, how, how's business been running lately? So um, JR Jamaican's Jerk is a authentic, as you said, Jamaican business. Uh, my husband and I are co-founders and JR is the chef, which is junior. We stand for junior. He's the cook of the restaurant and it's been challenging. We opened up September 11th of last year in the middle of a pandemic and it was a shot so we took it and here we are. Wow and you guys are still here so that's great news. So let's get to the yeah. food. Let's talk about what's going on through Making Jerk. So what's being offered on the menu and what are some of the local favorites that people order over there? So some of the stuff that's on the menu is we have oxtails, um, we have jerk chicken, curried goat, and all these menus, all these entrees are served with um, rice and beans. Um, the favorite of the locals are jerk ch is jerk chicken. You guys really do enjoy the jerk chicken. It's the sweet and spicy sauce that's they keep on coming back and asking for more. Also, um, we also offer curd chicken. It is very authentic and very delicious. They just love the jerk chicken. They always ask for the jerk chicken and the oxtail as well. It's, it's so much to pick from, so it, it, everything is just really good. Yes, and we're looking at the pictures, and it looks amazing, and it sounds mm -hmm. great. Can you just uh, tell us what kind of constitutes, what is a Jamaican, uh, Jamaican entree? So it it's, consists of um, rice and beans, the meat, and a side of uh, coleslaw, or, which is cabbage or um, macaroni, uh. basically. Uh, that sounds great. And that the spices, yeah. there's some secret to what makes it a Jamaican jerk or what, uh, what's the kind of so idea? The spiciness that is one of the, um, the add-ons that they really do enjoy, the spice. It, is, um, it can be mild or also super spicy. Whether you like the mild or whether you like the spice, you're going to enjoy it either way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These pictures look so good. So tell me, you also have some specials on the daily. So uh, let's inform the people about that. Yeah, so sometimes on Mondays, we do have um, discounted chicken. Instead of $15, we offer $10. On Saturdays, we do offer soup, which is pumpkin soup. The pumpkin soup is a one-pot soup, so it's really a meal of itself. Mm. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> I like this one now. It consists of a whole bunch of vegetables with meat, and, and, and it's almost kind of a stew, but it's a soup, so... That is served on Saturdays, and that's one of the specials we do offer. Also, very popular, it's two peas. This is for pork lovers, so that is on Saturdays. Every Saturday, it is served. If you do like beans and pork combined together, served with white rice, it's a it's a meal for you. And that sounds great, but you do have to go over there and order. They have Instagram as well as a website where you can do online ordering. So check them out. JR's Jamaican Jerk over in Wahewa off of Kamehameha Highway. And we've been speaking with Shade Edwards, one of the co-owners over there. Thank you so much for everything and what your Thank husband you is doing. You have a wonderful day and keep up making that Jamaican Jerk. Mahalo, Shade. Mahalo.